Yeah, I'm still alive, man. I'm still kicking. I don't know how long it's been since I posted that 30 hits of acid video. The fuck is time anyway, you know? Now, I've been on a bit of a journey since then. <laughs> if you can't tell. Figured some stuff out. Found some things. Had a son. You know, I actually had my son, thanks to these YouTube videos. My girl from Virginia found me via the videos. It's been a beautiful journey. Psychedelics have given me everything I've asked for. So yeah, I'm still alive. I'm doing pretty good, better than I've ever done in my life. In fact, now that I've got my son and family around, people that believe in what I'm trying to do, it's like life makes a hell of a lot more sense. You know, it finally makes sense. Before, I would wake up hoping to get the day over so I could get back in bed. Now it's like I wish I didn't have to sleep. I got so much going on. I have my ecology supplies ordered. I'm going to start growing mushrooms. And uh, I want to like film them and teach about them as I learn. Because the best way to learn is to teach. You know what I mean? But this channel is going to be strictly about psychedelics. I have a video in the works. I'm almost complete. Like it's almost complete. Like the script anyway I still need to shoot it and then edit it but like I don't have editing skills I don't have good equipment yet so it's like it's gonna be mostly informational <coughs> um, I'm excited about it because it's like I've made quite a bit of noise on Facebook and build up a following and then here on YouTube, you know, that 30 Hits of Acid video has, you know, 250,000 views or some shit. Some shit, I haven't checked it in a while. And that has been completely improvised. And like, now I'm trying to put some focus, some time, and some discipline into everything I'm doing. Including these videos. I have a master plan in regards to... The mushroom business, the YouTube. I got some names I want to get trademarked. I'm working on it. And uh, I've got people around me starting to believe in what I'm doing. I've been contacted uh, by a woman named Ashley Warren. Uh, from a company called So Social, and they are like a mediator company between sponsors and sponsees. <laughs> like I'm back in a fucking NA room. Jesus Christ, what a shit show. <clears throat> so anyway, sponsors and sponsees. And now I feel like everything I've done has been too controversial to ever get sponsored. That's why I've been like pursuing this whole mushroom business uh, because like I can advertise my own fucking mushrooms on my videos. You know what I mean? Like I don't got a trip on being controversial. I don't got a trip on getting monetized. I mean I would like to, of course. So I've got all this equipment, this mycology equipment, and I've got filming equipment that I'm ordering and uh, with some planning and foresight like the information that I'm finding out about and learning about is so fucking fascinating if you're into psychedelics and the history of them uh, it's been awesome 
like learning about it and I really hope this thing ends up taking off because like there's nothing I'd rather do with my time than to study these medicines and teach others about them and like as you can tell <laughs> Jesus as you can tell by you know what I've become is like I've been experimenting on myself with psychedelics uh, pretty much since that video man I had to slip up back into heroin for a while but now it's like I've got like 12 years of research in regards to that shit done and it's like my son's here I'm over it I'm done with it like I have researched that suffering enough you know I have suffered enough. I mean, the suffering never ends, but in regards to that little rat trap, never again. I can say that confidently. Like, I have no desire to do it whatsoever. Shit's fucking poison for the soul, man. Like, it depresses your entire... That's irrelevant right now. So... I will be shooting more of these videos, you guys. I know there's like a, a couple followers on here. Uh, I don't really... I don't really know how things are going to go. But I have some hopes. I got, I got a clever way of titling it. And, and uh, the topic is very, very interesting, I think. So, like I got a little more... A little more planning, a little more thought to put into it. It's like every time I look at it with fresh eyes, I always see something that I won't change. But oh, after I've seen it and changed it, it's like it tends to be, you know, acceptable. So, oh, fuck, I'm sore. So, I don't know. I would say stay tuned and press that fucking like button, but... <laughs> I'm not that dude, man. It's like the information will speak for itself. I don't need to. I don't need to be that guy. So, we'll uh, let's get chilly in here. We'll uh, see what happens here. Like no matter how it turns out, it's gonna be all right because it's like I'm chasing my passion at this point. And I'm not really tripping on it because the people around me are starting to get passionate about it. And uh, as soon as we're all working on it together, a whole group of genius fucking people all putting their minds together to solve problems. Game over, motherfucker. Game over. So, things are going better in my life than they've ever done. And it is all thanks to psychedelics. Without a doubt. They have made me a better person through and through. Gave me a consciousness. Manifested my soul.